want to ask earlier i wanted to ask actually i think you the you sir asked you for yeah. saira then you yeah. said you were shooting adkalam i think again they approach you for godfather again you said for i was very worried that chiranjeevi sir will think i'm lying because <laughs> i keep telling repeating this story you know in 2017 or 18 i think uh, chiranjeevi sir through suhasni ma'am manitnam sir's uh, wife suhasni ma'am had gotten in touch with me to play a role in saira narasimha reddy and uh, i was very flattered because chiranjeevi sir thinking of me for a big role is for me like a big certificate you know uh, so that time i told him really sorry sir you know i would love to have worked with you but i've just committed to this i've just start not committed i'm beginning to shoot this film that i have been waiting for for 10 years so i have to grow my beard and lose weight and all that and sir told me no problem and he understood I think 4 years later when uh, i had become a director i had directed one film and that film released and it became a hit in kerala chiranjeevi sir had bought the rights to that film and also saira narasimha reddy was releasing so for the kerala event of saira narasimha reddy when chiranjeevi sir came i was the chief guest for the event um so at that time chiranjeevi sir's team uh, was pitching the idea asking me why why don't you think of directing uh, lucifer in uh, telugu also then i am telling chiranjeevi sir sir i would have loved to sir but unfortunately there is this big film that i am doing sir for which i have to grow my beard i have to look and he's like hey four years ago you said the same story <laughs> that actually happened and i had forgotten that i had told that same excuse uh, but uh, i hope chiranjeevi sir's team has uh, conveyed it is actually true <laughs> Uh, but no chiranjeevi sir actually you know mm, uh, he's such a sweet person uh, he messages me uh, he once in a while and uh, you know he, he keeps in touch so does ram and he messaged me the day godfather released uh, and uh, yeah and i'm i'm hoping someday i'll be able to work with him yeah good luck sir all the best for the thank film. you thank you so much prithviraj sir here here center where a center okay yeah hi <laughs> i'm anjali from tfpc Hello, i have a two questions for you okay uh, first one is the goat life <coughs> so as you say it's a true story and uh, every breath is very important yeah. so me telugu you can understand sir i can i'm beginning to understand uh, like, okay yeah. uh, so uh, as you say that uh, so much things are changed in your life yeah. during this movie shooting so the most uh, painful struggle of film industry ante em cheptaru me life lo of the film industry yeah in your journey i i have had i have had no struggle madam the most painful struggle for the film industry are the people waiting outside to get in you know waiting for that first opportunity i know i am very lucky i have got my first opportunity because my father was a famous actor not because i was very talented and all you know okay. uh, like i am a nepo kid <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, so uh, generally no one is using that nepo kit yeah, but I you also are saying that nepo nah, kit that's a terminology that it's now coined no i also don't but the fact is that my first film i got because my father was a famous actor only uh, but uh, i got only my first film because my father was a famous actor but after that it is my hard work <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's <laughs> yeah. true and my second question is all about uh, uh, salar prabhas garu Uh-huh. so uh, everyone says that prabhas garu gives a very good food to everyone yeah. so bonding with uh, your bonding with him i'm Anyone going no and two hours i'll be there having food with him <laughs> any particular item i'm in hyderabad then definitely i'll be hanging out with him only so evening i'm going sir <laughs> oh party sir yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> okay then and all the best for the movie sir thank you thank you so much prithvi garu whenever you felt that uh, while doing this kind of roles whenever you felt that why i would choose this role uh, so much pain is there a lot of changes are there uh, you look this very painful look is there whenever you felt that why would i i, would, I wouldn't have chosen this role never sir i have in the beginning cup few months i questioned why this role chose me i have never questioned why did i choose this role because uh, it's a privilege for an actor you know uh, you don't get films and roles like this even if you could say i have done what i have done 100 120 films now as an actor i have directed i am directing my third film i produced i don't know 10 11 films but films like these don't happen very often like once in a lifetime film so when i get if you get an opportunity as an artist forget as an actor as an artist any craft to be involved with a piece of cinema like this then you don't question that i never questioned it but both of us had that moment of fear when we had to stop shoot in 2020 following the pandemic because already we had invested so much effort so many years of struggle i had lost one third of my body more than one third of my body weight and we had to stop shoot and we didn't know if we were ever going to be able to restart but we could and here we are so so are there any satires or criticism about the 
Arab Sheikh sir, uh, Arab countries. Sir, that's one very important thing I want to tell you about this film is that this is not about going to another country and getting stuck. The actual core element of the story can happen to anybody anywhere. It's about uh, forceful confinement. It's about forced labor. It's about taking away a man's identity from him. So that can happen to anyone anywhere if you are unfortunate enough to be going through those circumstances. In Najib's story, it involved him going to, a, to the Gulf. It needn't be that it has to happen in the Gulf. It can happen anywhere in the world. Okay, sir. All the best. Thank you. Prithvira, sir. sir. Prithvira, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, tra the trailer is very heart-wrenching and emotional S story. Emotional sorry, sorry. Trailer is looking very heart-wrenching and uh, emotional journey. Thank you, thank you. So, did you feel ever uh, seen acting this film? So, very claustrophobic uh, for audience to feel that uh, your, uh, your acting is very uh, pointing. So, the, the, the taking the another world, the audience is very impact of this film. I'm a, I, I think I understood your question, so I'm going to answer the, to the question that I understood, okay? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very intense film, yeah? That, uh, it's a very intense film. This is not a film where you have a separate uh, comedy track for relief and all. But I think cinema has generally moved on from that, no? I don't think now, even for a commercial film, I remember even when I, in, for my own films, like in early 2000s and all, we used to read a script and then it will be like, oh, scene 23, comedy. Scene 24, next. Eh? So then the comedy scene would be written later by the artist also involving in it because that scene would have no relationship with the rest of the plot. That is now not there in any film, I think. Anyway, there is no like relief track to make the audience feel uh, good about themselves, etc. But mm. this is a film where I don't think you would want to take your eyes off the screen 